Any other issues? James. Thanks. It's on Greece, if that's all right. Um, can you give us a readout from the Juncker calls with EU leaders on Greece? I think he was due to speak to um, <clears throat> Mrs. Merkel and Mr. Hollande. Um, second question, is there any part of the draft agreement that should keep the IMF on board at this stage? For example, is there any insight you can give us into guarantees for the IMF's loans to Greece as a way of keeping the IMF in the program? And uh, third, uh, do you have any timing for uh, the Eurogroup or preparatory meetings for the Eurogroup that would involve um, the Eurogroup working group or this other body, I think it's called EFC or something, thanks. Yep. Um, so we concluded yesterday the technical agreement between the institutions and the Greek authorities based on the Euro summit of the 12th and 13th of July and the work that was done by the institutions with the Greek authorities in the months before then. Um, I mentioned yesterday that some details were still left to be clarified. All last details have been clarified. In fact, the finalized text of the Memorandum of Understanding was sent to member states last night. At the same time today, the Greek government is presenting a significant number of legislation um, to the Greek parliament. Um, the political process will now continue in the course of the day, and as for your third question, we understand that there will be an opportunity for member states to review the situation through a phone call of the Economic and Financial Committee, EFC, later today. Um, this will also shed light on the process over the coming days. Um, the, as for the readout for the calls yesterday, um, as you know, as I said here yesterday, um, President Juncker spoke, uh, was in contact with President Hollande and Chancellor Merkel yesterday as the three of them were the key architects of the deal of the 12th and 13th of July. It's only normal now that they take stock of the situation at this point when negotiations on the ground have been concluded. Um, on the IMF involvement, we've been working hand in hand with the IMF um, all these months and weeks. Um, they've explained their procedures in a statement at the end of July, I believe it was the 30th of July. Um, the transcript is available on their website and there is nothing new to add to that or to add to any potential um, IMF involvement. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions for Annika on Greece? Yes. Yes, I, I would like to know whether there has been or will be a social and economic impact assessment on the third program as promised by President Juncker upon his election. Um, as you are probably aware, there's a whole number of documents that will be assessed, and we have also made um, a, we have studied the social and economic impact. Um, President Juncker, as you say, already on, in July last year, um, pointed towards the fact that any such missions, any programs would have to have a more social element, would have to focus on equity and fairness. In fact, that is very much reflected in the MOU, and yes, there, uh, the social impact is being studied. Will it be published? Um, all the documents um, are, will be published in agreement with the Eurogroup at the appropriate point in time. Okay, thank you. Are there any more questions on uh, this issue? No? James, you have another follow-up? Just a follow-up. When, Annika, when you say shed light in the process of the coming days, does that imply that we just don't know if there will be a discussion, either physical or uh, by teleconference, of the finance ministers, of the Eurozone finance ministers? Or should we assume that because the EFC is speaking today, that's as good as a Eurogroup? Um, not really sure what we know now about whether there's a Eurogroup. Uh, do we know or not if there is one this week? Thanks. Okay, 
Okay, let me recall what I said yesterday, that what we were mandated to do um, is now concluded. We have reached the finalized MOU. That was what the Euro Summit and, um, on the 12th and 13th of July, as well as the Euro Group, asked us to, to do. The political process is now starting, and as I say, finance ministers are due to assess the agreement. A first phone call of the EFC took place um, yesterday on the basis of an oral briefing on the MOU, the, now that the MOU has been sent to the member states, um, another EFC call will take place to discuss the actual basis of, um, of the agreement um, as for whether or not a Eurogroup will take place. That's for the Eurogroup Secretariat to decide. Um, I understand that um, no Eurogroup has been called at this point. Okay, that's clear. All right, thank you, Annika. And just to uh, maybe clarify, yes, there will be a social impact assessment. If I wasn't absolutely clear, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. I think that's all for you. Is there any questions on any other topics today? Yes, please.